Okay, so for the first card, I'm going to be creating a birthday card with many mates, the balloon punch, some playing with pattern scrap that I had laying around, a piece of window sheet that I've cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm also using the um, Snowflake Splendor designer series paper because I had them laying beside each other on my desk and I noticed how well they went together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. But first, I'm gonna show you how to load your snail. Um, the Stampin' Seal comes in a sealed packet. You can get the refill or you can get, um, well, you need to get the original first um, and then just keep getting refills. And it's so quick and so easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the package. So you place it on the piece that has the gears. Just pop it in and then pop your lid on and then you are good to go. I usually just get it started on a scrap piece that I have laying around and again just start it with your thumb and you're good to get started. All right so I've already done part of the card. Um, I cut the base at five and a half by four and a quarter and I added about an inch or so so that I had something to adhere my designer series paper on. So one of the tricky bits, I guess, about using the acetate sheets or the window sheets is that there's really no way to adhere it to your card without seeing the adhesive lines. Um, one of the things that you can do, um, and I did a few months ago on a video when I did bookmarks for my kids, um, you can use the adhesive sheets and then that way your entire piece of cardstock is covered so you can't see the lines. So now I'm just going to line this up to the crease and close the window or close the card window on the brain already. Okay. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a rub. Okay. Then I'm going to add my other piece of designer series paper at the bottom. Now you're going to put your adhesive on the back because this is going to go on the front of your window sheet. You could also, if you wanted to, put your designer series paper at the, actually, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it at the back. Make sure my pattern roughly lines up. And then this way too, when people open up the card, they've got a bit of the pattern on the card as well. Okay, and I'm gonna spring in my bone folder and give it a bit of a sharper crease so that it stands up a bit better. Okay, now we're gonna decorate. So I decided that I wanted to use the balloon punch. There's two sizes, the small balloon and the large balloon. Now I'm just going to Line it up right to the very edge of the paper so that I'm not wasting any paper. And let's see, I think I'm gonna do a small balloon. Okay. So then I'm gonna just open it up. I'm gonna do the large balloon there. Um, my stamp and seal oops there we go you don't need a whole lot of adhesive on the balloons to make them stick and then you can just kind of eyeball where you would like your balloons to show up you can also attach them um, with a dimensional actually I think I'm gonna do that got some right here just so that it gives it a little bit more pop There we go. There's one. And let's see. I think I'm going to put the other one right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my stamp set with. Well, I've already got an It's Your Day. Actually, no, I think I'm going to use Happy Birthday on this one. I was making uh, birthday cards for the kids' school this week. <laughs> Happy birthday, there we go. And then I'm just gonna bring in my Memento Black. 
and then ink it up. I love the Many Mate stamp set um, just because it's got some that are open letters and you can color them in if you'd like. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it like that. And there you go. There's our first window sheet card done. And I will be back in a minute with the next one. For our second card, I'm going to show you how you can dry emboss um, with an embossing folder. For this one, I used winter snow. I've already done this part. So I just took a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of acetate um, window sheet and I ran it through the embossing folder. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it really well, um, but it's got the snowflake pattern on it. Um, I'm also using the Snowman Season photopolymer stamp set. And now I'm just going to take my snail, my stamp and seal, and run it along the edges just so that, oops, we can adhere our embossed piece to our card. Um, now you can also heat emboss with the window sheets, you do need to do it in very, very short bursts just so that the plastic doesn't waffle um, or, or melt. And to do that, you would just go ahead and, this is really sticky today, um, stamp it up with Versamark, which is a tone-on-tone -tone watermark stamp. And I will show you how to do that. Um, but you do need to be careful that your stamp doesn't slide on the window sheet. Okay, so I've got that attached to this. Now this is going to be my entire card front piece. So I used the stitch nested labels. Um, I've got our window sheet here and now I've got another piece of the Snowflake Splendor designer series paper. Now I, you might be able to see the super fine line that I just drew. Um, just with a pencil, and that's just so that I know where my line is going to be. So I don't want to have much of the base of my stamp covered um, when I go to put it in. So I'm just going to put this guy off to the side. Now I did it so that I went corner to corner, just so that nothing would be cut off on the sides as well. And I'm going to bring in my memento black again. Um, and I'm also going to do just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of coloring with my watercolor pencils. Whoops. Okay, this will be covered up, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Okay, and stamp. I'm going to stamp this guy over here. And bring him down roughly to where the line is. Give it a good push. And lift it up. Okay. So then... I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy watercolor pencil and I'm just going to do a little bit of coloring just to kind of give it a bit more interest. Super fast, super easy. I love the watercolor pencils. They really do make quick work of pretty much any coloring job. And they last forever. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a carrot with my pumpkin pie watercolor pencil. You can use markers um, if you were going to use the Stampin' Blends on this. I would be super careful because this is relatively thin paper. It will bleed. So I think you're better off using either the pencils or the Stampin' Write markers. Okay, I'm just going to test this. He's really cute. Okay, I'm going to take my stamp, my snowman off. And for this one, I'm going to do... Um, let's see. I think I'm going to use the Let It Snow sentiment. And I'm just going to stick it here. All right. So then, to finish it off, all we need to do... I'm not sure where that piece of bling came from. All we need to do is make sure that everything is going to fit. 
And then I'm going to do, I don't usually do the front of my card, um, but I am going to for this one just so that I can see where I'm lining it up. Plus, everything will be covered by the die cut shape. Now, the die cut um, you can absolutely use for something else later on. And the next card that I'm going to show you, um, I've actually got two pieces that I can use for something else. All right. So there's this guy. Um, oh, got a little bit sticking out on the side, so I'm just going to bring in my scissors and give it a quick little trim. Okay, and then final step is just to attach it on the card base. So if you want to get notified every time I put up a new video, be sure to hit subscribe below. And also for my Tuesday tip videos, um, I'm going to be posting a poll up on Sunday. So be sure to go over onto my Facebook page, Prairie Sky Paper Crafts, um, and vote for what you would like to learn about. I'm also going to be doing the same thing for my Friday videos. So two days before, I'm going to go on and ask you guys what you would like to learn about. And there you have it. Card number two is finished. Now we're doing a shaker card. I've never made a shaker card from scratch like this, but I've seen lots of tutorials and I love shaker cards. They remind me of snow globes and those are one of my very favorite things in the entire world. So Snowman season again. We're going to be using the Snowflake Sequins, the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper, and the foam sheets. Now I've already cut these to size. Um, I use the stitched shapes dies for this one, um, and it's two and three quarters is the size for the opening. So we're just going to make sure that when you do this, you just want to make sure that everything is sealed so that none of your sequins are going to go all over the place. So I've already cut out our, um, our piece. So this is the Snowflake Splendor Series paper, Night of Navy, Whisper White. Um, and again, I've drawn the little line so that I know where my snowman needs to go. This is my favorite snowman off of that set. As you can tell, he's kind of stained, but it the staining does not impede the quality of the stamp at all. So to do this, you need to, first of all, get your piece of acetate and attach it to your card. So I'm going to do that with my stamp and seal. Just, oops, wrong. that one's empty. All right, start it with your thumb if it doesn't wanna go and just go all the way around. You do wanna make sure um, for this card especially that you've got a good seal. Now it's not too terribly important with the snowflake sequence because the pieces are a little on the larger side. Um, but I have a serious aversion to glitter in my craft room. Oh, I didn't put that on a very good way. So I'm just going to bring in my scissors and give it a trim. Um, I'm okay with Wink of Stella because it's in a brush and it goes nowhere. I'm okay with embossing powder because that has a purpose and once it gets heated up, it doesn't go anywhere. But glitter kind of scares me. Okay, so we've got our acetate sheet down, our window sheet down. Now I'm just going to bring in our foam strips and get as close as we can to the window without having it pop out. Okay, second piece here. Now, if they are a little bit um, long or if it's not going to fit exactly the way that you want to, then you can just go ahead and trim it. Okay, there's the next one down and our final one. That looks like it should work well. Um, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I did use my trimmer, my Stampin' Trimmer, um, to cut 
the foam sheets and I cut them to about a quarter of an inch wide. You don't really need them terribly wide. You just need to make sure that they're going to keep your, well, in this case, our sequins in our spot. Okay, so that part's done. I'm just going to leave this off to the side for now. And I'm going to bring in our Whisper White piece. And again, oh, let's give this guy a stick. Open up our memento. And I've got my, um, oops, I've got my coloring pencils still there just because I want to give his little snowman nose a color. And I'm going to go as close to the line as I can, push my stamp down, and then go ahead and lift it up. Okay, and I'm just going to color his carrot with my pumpkin pie pencil. And I think I'm just going to give him a bit of color with Winko Stella. Just a little bit of shine and sparkle. Okay. All right, so this is what our guy is gonna look like so far. And I think I'm gonna bring in Let It Snow again because that will fit. And I'm gonna do it just above, I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna bring it just above his snowflake. And if you wanted to do a more detailed seam, um, you could absolutely trace around the entire shape just to make sure that it was going to go exactly the way that you wanted it to go. Okay, I'm happy with that. One of the things about working with the window sheet is they do tend to get very staticky. Um, so if you want to, you can just give it a quick little brush with a bounce sheet or another non-static type thing. Um, I'm just going to, because this has the foam on the edges of our shape, I want to make sure that our card isn't going to bow um, and go out towards the center. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the dimensionals as well on the corners. Okay, so now we're just going to rip protective backing off. Come on. Now this part's kind of like watching paint dry. And if you guys have any ideas of products, Stampin' Up! products that you would like me to showcase or show you how to use, by all means, drop a comment or um, send me a message through Facebook or email prairieskypapercrafts at gmail.com and I would be more than happy to help you out. Okay, now there's two ways that you can do this. You can put your sequins in the center and then just line it up. Or if you're feeling brave, you can put your sequins in the center of your snowman um, and then drop this over top. I'm going to put my sequins into my shape. I'm very carefully open it because I don't want them to go everywhere. And you do get a lot. So there's little iridescent pieces. There's snowflake pieces. Just make sure you don't get stuck. And it's okay if it gets stuck to your foam. Um because the seal is still gonna be really, really great. And there's little plastic, tiny little star pieces. And I'm just gonna dump some. I think that should be good. Put the lid back on, because again, don't want everything going everywhere. Okay, just make sure, give everything a shove, make sure that it's all roughly where you want it to be. Now at this point, you don't want to move your project too much. Um, because pieces will go flying. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my snowman. And very carefully line it up corner to corner. Oops. Corner to corner. 
and give everything a good push, especially in the middle where you've got your foam, just because you don't want everything to pop out. And there we go. There's our snowman. Let it snow. So let me know what you think of this card and you can just kind of keep shaking it around and moving it around. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Three fairly quick, fairly easy window sheet projects. Shaker card, dry embossed, and our peekaboo card. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.